In today's Health Watch, gene therapy for Parkinson's disease, a new British study describes a potentially groundbreaking treatment. So far, 15 patients have received it, including this woman who's had Parkinson's for 17 years. She says her severe tremors and balance problems are starting to go away. With us now, Dr. Michael Kaplett, who pioneered the use of gene therapy on Parkinson's patients. He is a neurosurgeon at New York Presbyterian Wild Cornell Medical Center. Welcome. Thanks for having me. So tell us how successful this is, the idea of gene therapy, because I know so many people uh, and friends who have Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. Well, the idea of gene therapy has been around for a long time and has held great promise. Problem is, is that with with a lot of uh, uh, positive cases, patients who've done well in isolation, there's always been sort of stopping points where things never really got past uh, the initial promise. They did not realize its potential. Right. That everybody believed what happened after we began to to understand more about all the genes. Right. The real excitement in the field in the last year or two has been that we've really gotten past many of those points. That uh, the example of this woman and this study that's going on and many others that have been going on really show that this is more than just some experimental idea, some promise, that it's really starting to help real people and we're overcoming many of those hurdles. Can you rewind for just a second and bring us up to date about what gene therapy is? Right. Can you describe it in a couple of sentences? Sure. That would be well, good. How gene, it works. Genes are the fundamental building blocks of life. They give our body instructions on how to work. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing with gene therapy is really providing a new set of instructions to tell different parts of our body how to work how to better work. in specific disease situations. Mm -hmm. Can, uh, go ahead. Go, go ahead, Charlie. No, across ahead. the board, where might gene therapy have consequences and results, say, in the next 10 years? Right. Well, obviously, Parkinson's has led the field. We and many others have been doing this for a long time. But in the brain in particular, what we're excited about is the ability to go into particular circuits that influence all kinds of complex diseases, depression, drug addiction, even obesity, things like that. All of these things are diseases of specific brain circuits. And by giving new instructions to these circuits, we may be able to have major impacts where traditional drugs can't really do as well. And following up on her question, exactly what will you do? I mean, you go into the brain, right. say, That's localize right. where the Parkinson's is, yeah. and, ch and do what? Well, so what we do is we have these little sort of molecular packages that deliver the genes. And you have billions of these little packages in like a, a droplet, uh, one droplet of liquid. And then we go in with this very fine tube through a little hole in the, in the skull. And we deliver it, we literally inject it into a particular spot in the middle of one of these circuits that influences, in this case, Parkinson's disease. 15 seems like a small number to me, right. but is that enough to be encouraged? Well, it's enough to be encouraged for one particular uh, approach, but again, one has to get past that. So for example, we did uh, 10 patients in our first study, um, but then last year we reported on 40 patients and, and patients who did better than placebos. So, these kinds of progress can really help uh, make these things real for real patients. All right. I know a lot of people who are suffering. Not a lot, but I have, know some friends that have Parkinson's and are dealing with it. So this is very encouraging. Thank yes. you, Doctor. Thank, Thank you. you, Dr. Kaplett. Okay.